Well, what's going on everybody? It is a couple days into the Minnesota duck season now and I came to check out a new public land area this afternoon and got up here and I really couldn't scout from the road. I was planning on just have being, it being a scouting afternoon, but this is a big uh, cattail complex and I just couldn't see anything from the road that runs along it. So I decided to throw the kayak in, I got the gun. I have seen a few teal. Um, they seem to be, pre be pretty thick in here. I've seen a few buzzing around, quite a few on the water. So the hope this afternoon is that I'm gonna kind of do a scout hunt maybe a jump shoot if i find a bunch of birds i got a few decoys in here i'm gonna set up on them but uh, just trying to get a lay of the land here this seems like a super cool place and uh, i have about an hour and an hour and a half till sunset so looking forward to exploring back in here seeing what i can find and hopefully shoot a few ducks while doing it Didn't see those till they were too till it was too late. A couple mallards. Couple woodies there. That's a good sign. I'm like a hundred yards in here and I'm already seeing ducks. Just gotta get my paddle tied up here so that I can throw it whenever I see ducks and if there keeps on being pockets like this off the side of this channel I think I'll I think I'll get some other wood duck wow all right well, now my hopes are a lot higher I was going into this with really low expectations but five ducks within the first 100 yards this could be pretty good mm. Trumpeters. Got one, I hit that other one too. Okay, I gotta catch my breath here now. I got five, four down in the space of a minute. Widgeon. Holy cow, I thought they were gadwall. That is sweet. So I got two widgeon. That is awesome. Heck yeah. Oh yeah, I can see white wing patch on that one. Unfortunately, with the way I'm paddling here, I'm looking right into the sun. So I, I just knew that they were a big gray duck, not mallards. This is going to be a decent little drake widgeon. Oh yeah. Heck yeah. Oh, that is awesome. That's so cool. And a pair of blue wings. Oh, 
all sorts of feathers in here. There's no doubt this whole thing is probably stacked with birds. Which makes sense. All that is duckweed there. I'm sure there's other food in these cattails. And then, of course, the cattails provide great cover. Uh, a couple wood ducks there. Man, birds are thick in these cattails right now. I wonder how many coots I could kill with one shot right now. There's a redhead in there with him. Let's see how close I can get to that redhead. It's a hen. Another teal there. These coots are just losing their minds. <laughs> get a shot at some of these geese. Nope, the geese are a little bit more wary than the ducks. <laughs> ah, shoot. Take my time here. I'm gonna drop those ones into the cattails. Looks like I'm gonna be able to get into the main marsh right here, so I'm excited about that. More duck food here. Not sure if that's milfoil or what, but I'm sure the divers eat it and probably the puddle ducks too. Probably full of invertebrates. Not many ducks in this pool, just a few teal and a bunch of coots. But I'm hoping I can kind of snake my way back in here. I didn't even see that one. And right in that grass clump, I guess. Another blue wing. Four blue wings and two widgeon for the evening. Staying loaded for geese and possibly sandhill cranes. You can shoot them up here in Minnesota and I got the like three dollar crane permit. Never shot one before so if I shot one this evening it would be uh, the icing on the cake to say the least. But I'm planning on just meandering around this marsh, enjoying the sights and the sounds maybe find a big pot of ducks for tomorrow. Hmm. Apparently this is a good mallard spot too. I've already seen like 10 or so get up out of here.
two sandhills coming right at me. How much time do I have left? Because if I got enough time, I got 10 minutes. I'm gonna go try and get under that crane flight line. I bet there will be more coming. Yep, there's more coming. <laughs> Seems like the crane flight's over now, but I think I got like five minutes left, so I'm gonna post up right here. This was right where they were flying over. Hope for couple stragglers if these come over I can shoot them I'm almost out of time Oh no. First ever sand hill. Oh, he was right there about 35, 40, but I knew I had one shot at him. That's an adult too. You can tell from the red crest. Oh, that is awesome. Man, I cannot wait to cook him up. I've never shot one, but I've ate them before and uh, they are quite the treat. First time I've seen them up here. Probably like, I don't know, 30 snows. Pretty cool. The marsh keeps coming alive minute by minute. If you join, if you stayed until the end of this one, I really appreciate you joining me on this adventure. This was one of the most incredible hunts I've ever been on, one that I'll remember forever. Uh, man, there's just so many birds talking. Definitely the best evening hunt I've ever been on. I've honestly never had a good evening hunt before, so I came out here with zero expectations, just wanted to explore, and ended with a dream bird and uh, some of the most incredible scenery I've seen since I've been up here to Minnesota. Uh, one thing that I was doing this evening that I think will really help me going forward with this hunting this area is that I had the Onyx tracking feature on ever since I left my uh, put in. And because of that, I'm going to be able to go back and drop pins wherever I saw birds. Obviously, I didn't want to be pulling out my phone every time I saw birds to drop a pin on the spot. So having that tracking feature on and having the camera running, I'll be able to look back at the video and uh, drop pins where I saw the most birds and hopefully be back to hunt those spots very soon. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd really appreciate if you click that subscribe button. And if you have any questions about the hunt, leave it in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. I hope everybody out there is staying safe. God bless and thanks for watching. Uh -huh.